breakfast no longer the most important meal of the day, but which one is? Hi, I'm Dr. Derek Alessi, author of Loose Fat Forever, The Bumina Triangle Diet, host of Live It Fit, now a contributor for USA Today. And many people this week have asked me about the Newsweek article talking about breakfast not being the best meal of the day. Now, that kind of sounds weird because for many people over the last 50 years, we've been hearing breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Every HMO, health insurance organization, physician's office, even the USDA and FDA, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. What Newsweek did, and if you get a chance to check it out, they went back and they wanted to see where that stemmed from and what the studies were behind it. Well, it turned out most of it was from the 1950s and some of the early 1960s, and 11 studies were put together, all of which was paid for and contributed by the Kellogg Company. So clearly there was a little bit of a conflict of interest. But the other thing they wanted to look at though is why people believed it was the heart healthy thing to do and starting your breakfast, your day off with a good breakfast was so good for your heart. Was it because it got your metabolism going because it put fuel in your belly? Was it because it stabilized blood sugar or blood pressure? And it turned out that also was paid for by the Quaker company in the 1960s. So they went through the entire process of it, but also wanted to look at some ancient tribes and see what they did. Conclusion, breakfast is not the most important meal of the day at all. Now, which one is? Well, that kind of depends. I have an opinion and a take on it. Now, for years when people would say to me, isn't breakfast the most important meal of the day? And my answer would be, the meal that you're currently eating is the most important meal of the day at that very moment. So whether you have a great breakfast you could sabotage it by eating worse during the day, or if you have a great dinner, you could sabotage it by eating worse earlier in the day. But the meal that you're eating currently is the most important meal of the day. That's number one. Number two, if you really want to nitpick and focus, I have the best results with my private clients for the ones that stop eating after dinner. So you have dinner, nothing after, you don't load up the liver full of glycogen and sugar, and you don't have high insulin levels while you're sleeping, which means you won't store as much fat, your heart rate will be lower, you'll sleep better, and you'll feel better in the morning. So I would really focus on the time after dinner. But once again, that's being very particular once you're doing the other things right. Once again, for example, you could eat very poorly or have bad selections during the day and just stop eating and it's not going to help you. So it's more than just one thing, but if you wanted to weigh them all equally, I would really be concerned with after dinner because that's the most influential. Now it's a big topic and of course people have different desires. They want to drop body fat, they want to lose weight, they want to get smaller, they want to look better, they want to feel better, they want to live longer, they want to reduce or eliminate medication. I can understand that, and it's more than just which meal is the most important, it's an entire plan. I don't want to get into too much detail right now, but if you want to know exactly what you should do to get in better shape, what workouts you should be doing based upon your level. Are you beginning, intermediate, more advanced? Do you have injuries? Shoulders, hips, knees, back, neck. What meals are the most important? Well, it kind of depends upon your schedule, how your workout should look, how your meal schedule should look, how you should keep your blood sugar level nice and stable, what you should be eating and what you should avoid. There's a lot to it. Then ultimately, how is it tracked and how are you accountable and what can you expect in terms of changing your body? If you want to learn more about that, click on the link below for a private fitness and fat loss consultation, and we'll go to work looking at all those things. So I want you to think of breakfast a little bit differently now. It's not just, hey, could I have another bowl of cereal or a little bit of oatmeal? Unfortunately, that's been found to be highly complicit in uh, big organizations' plans and uh, certainly inf information that we've heard for a long time, and it gets reinforced, I understand that, but I want you to think of it differently right now because what happened in the past can change for the future, especially in a positive way. Hopefully today this video served you. I'm Dr. Derek Alessi asking you to make the most of your life and live it fit.